Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Leilani Barbados. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you so much. What happened? Oh my God! I'm recording. Your favorite surrogate granddaughter. I wanted to say that that means so much to me because I lost my grandmother and it is so nice to hear. You remind me of my Hi. granddaughter. You remind me of my daughter. So thank you so much for that. This community is meaning so much to me because of that. Okay, anyway, let's get in the nitty gritty of the gossipy granddaughter. <laughs> So we have a hodgepodge of things that we have to talk about. Um, basically, Meghan Markle. Well, I think I'd like to start off this podcast talking about who asked you, Meghan? Literally, who asked you how you felt? We have so many articles here that she has signed up for. I want to talk first about my best friend in Barbados. She was like, listen, you have to talk about the fact that she said the High Commissioner's Mansion in South Africa was a housing unit. So this is a picture of the beautiful mansion in South Africa for the High Commissioner. And you can see that that is so delusional of her to say that. Also, even in her podcast, she's talking to delusional people like her. Um, I'm a big Mariah Carey fan. I've always loved Mariah Carey. She came to Barbados and... <laughs> um, should I spill this tea? Should I spill this tea? When she came to Barbados, we already knew that she went on a treadmill with high heels. She was absolutely insane. But when she came to Barbados, basically Mariah Carey wanted to shut down the army and the airport in order to have fireworks because in Barbados, you have to have clearance, right? From the airport. Mariah Carey does not supersede that. Completely unhinged. This word diva, which actually means goddess in Latin, the word just warped. It went from high class to high maintenance. From fun, like, yes, diva, to, ugh, she's such a diva. These days, it's so often used to tear a woman down. Okay, so let's just start with that. Diva is used to tear a woman down nowadays. Well, that's what it is, okay? Language evolves. Things that used to mean one thing don't mean the same thing. You can talk about the word for cigarette, the F word. It's now a different word, isn't it? Okay, so a derogatory word. So it, it is not unique to your experience as a woman that diva has transformed into a negative word. Also, important for you to note that you could be called many other things. Difficult to work with, a B word. It, the list goes on and on. Be happy that it's just diva because that still does have a possible fabulous connotation to it. You know, you can't be a diva unless you're very fabulous, right? So you have to get to that level in order to force people to still tolerate you. I didn't fit in, you know, it would be more of the black area of town or that you could be where my mom chose to live were the more, the white neighborhoods. And I didn't fit in anywhere at all. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, I understand that. Do you? It's a very privileged place to be when you have a choice of where you're going to live, whether it be the white side of town, the black side of town, the rich side of town, the poor side of town. Like, what are we really discussing here? We're discussing choices with all the unhomed people in the world right now. This is, who's listening to this? Nobody that is really based in anything is listening to this and saying, I feel sorry for these two beautiful white passing women. I, what, what are we talking about? As for Megan, she says she was previously not treated as a black woman or a white woman due to her lighter skin tone and admits she often felt in between. I mean, in between. How nice it must be to be ambiguous racially. How nice it must be to not be profiled racially. You're somewhere in between. Nobody can figure out what you are. Therefore, they cannot put any judgment upon you based on your appearance. You slide under the radar of discrimination. Why are we complaining about that? I always thought it should be okay to say I'm mixed. Like, it should be okay to say that, mm -hmm. but people want you to choose. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is where Meghan shows how disingenuous she is. And Meghan Markle is clearly a terrible interviewer. Because I feel like a big part of interviewing is comparing and contrasting so that you feel 
relatable to your audience and your audience also feels that connection. So this would be a good time to ask her, where is she talking about? Because the UK is different from America, is different from South Africa, is different from India. This is where you flesh out the experiences and in what context they are in. Just saying. If you know what I'm saying. Mariah Carey has never lived in the UK, so I can't speak for that, but I can say that Meghan Markle has lived in the UK and she knows very well that mixed race is a term that is often used in the UK. They don't code mixed race people as black. There's no one drop rule. So you hear this mixed race thing, mixed race, you know, she's mixed race, he's mixed race. It's actually a category. It's not other like it is in America. It's actually a category, mixed race. So for her to say that the difficulty started in England, it's really not fair. It's not fair to the progress that has been made in England, probably due to the Commonwealth having so many different countries all around the world with different ethnicities and so on. I just think they got the wording right in England versus America. To talk about how difficult it was when you finally were. It's like a double negative. Who asked you how it was when you were not discriminated? Nobody talks about that. So like, okay, when I was not discriminated, my life was great. Mariah Carey has a sister called Allison. I am not against those who choose to do sex work, but Allison, unfortunately, her sister, chose to do sex work, but got HIV through it. And Mariah Carey was like, but who are you? I don't know. Die kenne ich nicht. And Alison Carey talks about the fact that Mariah Carey pretended not to be her sister because Mariah Carey was white passing and her sister could not be white passing for whatever reason. And so even in the same school, she disowned her own sister. I think that Mariah Carey and Meghan Markle have a lot in common. Does Spotify really believe Meghan Markle's boring self-aggrandizing exercise in self-flagellation for rich <laughs> entitled women is worth the giant price tag they paid for it? Um, yeah. She has to talk about something and she can only talk about what she knows, darling. And she only knows that nothing is good enough for her, which is what Tom Bauer said in his piece here, that nothing is good enough. She's left the firm behind. Harry's found a polo team in Santa Barbara. Oh my God, thank God for that because I was really worried about Harry finding his affluent polo team. <laughs> the kids are doing great good now she's ready for her next act i wonder what that will be you know something i want to tell you from my personal experience because i think the difficulty with megan is that she doesn't have a lot of experience with affluent people in europe in england i think that people from england they love culture they love a beach shack they love because i had a beach shack and all my friends they're, they were so wealthy, my friends, that I saw things that I didn't even know were allowed in Barbados. For example, this mosquito deterrent that comes out of the ground and then sprays, like this citronella smell, like literally like it's like a robot. In Barbados, all they wanted to do was hang out at my beach shack. You know, the wealthiest people in Europe, I'm not gonna call any names. It is very bad manners to talk about something is not good enough. So the cut is, you know, it's a very, it's, it's funny because it has disparaged her best friend, Priyanka Chopra, who is also my best friend. I went to Miss World with her. Priyanka Chopra has been experiencing racism and so on and so forth from this particular news outlet. Yet Meghan Markle has no loyalty. So she just went ahead and did an article with them. It's all coming out now. And I was saying this before. So this is the true Geordie. Glasses. What? 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 That's how you interview people. He's a comedian. He's a worldwide comedian, but we also know him very much in the UK. He's a Geordie, so he's from Newcastle. And he talks about how they were received in the UK. Do you know, whereas Megan, I hear she bullies people, if I'm honest. Yeah. And I hear she's once or twice, she's made a couple of people cry. I am not sure, and I'm just talking with you as my community, and I'm just not sure why we have this sudden bombardment. Literally nobody cares. And Harry's not handling it well, which is good because I always felt like people of his social status would not have indulged in this i don't know who these plebs are but they're not good enough for us and the church was good enough and the wedding wasn't good enough for 32 million and nothing was good enough for me he would not have indulged in that like just judging from 
the people that I have met before in his similar status. Of course, not no princes, but you know what I mean. I just wanted to say that, and I I want to talk about more things, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna listen back to all of the podcast and see what else I can cover from it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. But this seems very measured. It seems very calculated and manipulative. And like we're over it and we're done and we're through. Bye. <laughs> Please stay with me because I am finishing up her podcast now. <laughs> Bye. Why did